Hi, my name is Memo Acton. I'm a visual artist based in London. We're here at Stripe with my collective Martian Laser Feast presenting our brand new project, Forest. It's a giant interactive musical laser forest. And the aim is to try and recreate the sensation one gets when they're, they're a young child and they walk through the forest and it's a completely magical world. And everyone has that memory, like when they were three or four or five, the first walk through the woods. But as we grow older, we lose that sense of magic. Everything becomes mundane, everything becomes, you know, day to day, a bit monotonous. So we try to create environments which recreate that sense of wonderment. We were really intrigued by being able to create volumes with laser beams in, in space. So the idea is we've got these, what are like trees, the rods, and they're springy. So when you kind of twang them, they go boing like this. And with the smoke, that oscillation creates shapes. And it's, it's completely up to you. You know, you can shake it this way, shake it that way. So people can create those surfaces. I mean, mainly we're a small, very small team. And then with a big network of friends and people who do stuff, and then depending on the project, we just pull in, pull in more people. The art world, at least for digital arts and kind of media arts, is suffering badly. And this is why we have to turn to um, working with brands because, you know, we just can't get funding to do projects like the Quad Rotor shows through public funding. Some of that stuff is quite cool, but then there's other brand work that we do, which is frustrating. It's pain in the ass, basically, where it starts promising and then, you know, a month into it, they're like, oh, but let's not do that because maybe people might not like it. And you're like, well, I'm sorry, but fuck that. At times like this, innovation is always what will persevere. So if, as long as you're at the forefront of something, crisis won't affect you because people are always looking into the future. So if you're there, promising the future, then you're in a good position. But we're just trying to create things which are fresh. And I guess in a way, that is um, a glimpse into the future. I open source a lot as well. In this day and age, there's the hacker of um, cracking software. And the hacker scene of the 80s that I was inspired by was the cracker scene, who would crack games and do their demos. There's also a massive hacker scene right now of the DIY, um, you know, making stuff at home. That I'm very much into. Empowering people to create things. And that's why, you know, I open source as much as I can. Sharing technical know-how is just crucial, absolutely crucial to moving forward. The most important thing is mindset, is, is human attitude. You know, people, are in far, far worse situations you know, than us all over the world. But some of them stay positive, some of them are not positive. You know, it doesn't matter what you have, what matters is what you see and what you make out of it. So all we try to do is create things that make people remember to be happy. And if you have that mindset, then it kind of doesn't matter, you know, whether we have flying cars or, um, you know, 5G on our mobiles, it's completely irrelevant. It's completely pointless. All, all that matters is um, you're happy with who you are and who you're with and what you're doing.